Hi everyone and welcome to part 5 of this video tutorials. In this video we are gonna set up a simple structure for our mesh data and send it to graphic cards for rendering. We will also create a simple camera class to see our mesh models inside the scene. Before we start, I'm gonna move some of the code that we have inside 3MF app directory to a folder called core. And the reason I'm gonna do this is because many of this code uh, that we have inside here can be reused in other projects and they tend to be generic. So let me go ahead and create this folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and move uh, some of our codes uh, such as uh, shader loader GL, image STB, and window GL into this folder. Okay. Uh, I also need to update our CMake. So inside our CMake list, I'm gonna set a new variable for this folder. And I'm gonna call it core uh, dir path. This is gonna point to this folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and include it inside our include directories. Okay. So this way I can easily include any of these files from this folder outside of uh, uh, this folder. So I can include it inside import uh, 3MF main or main app. All right, so with that being done, uh, let's uh, start uh, by creating a very simple camera class. Okay, so here is the code for our camera class. And as you can see, uh, this camera is gonna take eye position and look at position as well as width and height. Uh, we also have uh, update view size and we call this method every time we update our view size or when we resize our windows. We also have a view matrix and projection matrix that we pass into our shaders via uniform variables. As you can see, inside our vertex color shader, we have uh, view matrix and projection matrix. And we populate these two uh, by calling these uh, two functions. And uh, that's pretty much all we need from our camera class. Now, let's go ahead and create a, a new structure for our vertex data. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file called meshdata.edge. All right, so inside this file, we have a simple structure called vertex uh, that is gonna hold the position and color for each of vertices. Uh, there are more data that we could add here, such as UVs or normals, but for now, uh, we just need the position and colors. Uh, as you can see, inside the vertex structure, everything is public. Uh, you can set the position and colors by just using these two uh, variables or using any of the methods that we have inside this structure. All right, so with that said, uh, let's move on to the next file that we are gonna create and it's called a mesh draw. Okay, so the mesh draw class is basically an interface for other classes that we will create to draw mesh objects. Inside this interface, we have a public function called draw that takes the camera and shader loader GL. And basically we call this function in every frame. We also have two protected methods. Uh, and the first one is called send data to GPU. So every draw mesh that we have needs to send its data to the GPU by setting up a vertex buffer objects, vertex array objects, or index buffer objects. If you need to, uh, more information on how VAO, VBO, or EBO works, I have added some links in the description of this video that should make it easier for you to understand these terminologies. The next method is called update uh, matrices, and this method also takes the camera and shader loader GA. And uh, basically inside uh, this method, we need to update our uh, model view projection matrices uh, for our uniform variables inside the shaders in every frame. We also have a virtual destructor that will delete uh, the vertex array objects. 
uh, and we call GL delete uh, vertex arrays and we pass the uh, ver a pointer to vertex array object um, that we've created. So, okay, and that's pretty much about this class. And uh, now that we have this class, let's create a new class uh, for drawing lines and we will call it mesh line. All right, so here is the code for our mesh line class. And as you can see, uh, this class is driving from mesh draw. And we are also overwriting the methods that we just saw inside mesh draw. And those methods are draw, uh, send data to GPU, and update uh, matrices. Now, let's take a look at uh, our uh, C++ code. And as you can see, our constructor is taking an array of vertices. And we save these vertices inside this uh, member variable called m underscore vertices. We then uh, go into, uh, we then call send data to GPU inside the constructor. And basically inside this uh, method, we create and uh, fill our uh, vertex buffer object for each of the attributes that we have presented inside our shaders, as well as creating our vertex array object. Once that's done, uh, we go inside uh, update uh, matrices, and inside here, that's where we are updating our model view projection matrices for our shaders. So each of uh, so our shader is basically calling set uniform for model metrics, uh, view metrics, and projection metrics. We then call this method inside our uh, draw function, and uh, once that's done, we enable the shader. Uh, we do our drawing, and for lines, we are uh, gonna use the GL draw elements uh, by using GL lines. And once that's done, we are simply gonna uh, disable our shader. And that's pretty much what we have inside this class, and we are actually ready to draw lines. So let's go ahead and draw X, Y, Z axis for word origin uh, in our app to see if things are actually working. Okay, so inside our main app uh, class, we have a new method called word axis draw, as well as two new member variables, a camera and vertex shader. In our C++ uh, code, uh, you can see that inside uh, init function, uh, we are creating a new object of the camera and we pass in the position as well as look at and uh, also width and height of the window. We also uh, call the camera update view size inside uh, our uh, resize callback to update uh, width and height uh, variables. We then create our shaders and we are going to use uh, the simple shaders that we have and these are just vertex color shaders that we've already created. Now inside our draw function uh, we simply call word axis draw and we pass in the camera and vertex shader variables. Uh, inside word axis draw, uh, you can see that we are uh, creating uh, X and Y, Z uh, mesh lines and uh, we basically need to uh, update the position for each line uh, as well as the color and once that's done, we create uh, our mesh uh, line that we use for drawing. So we simply pass in the vertices uh, to our um, constructor. And once that's done, we just call the draw function. We also pass in the camera and shader to this function. So you can see for X axis, we have red color, Y is green, and Z is blue. All right, so let's go ahead and compile this code and see if we can actually uh, see our axes inside the scene. All right, so let's go inside Visual Studio now and reload all. And let's compile and see if we have any issues. Okay, so it seems we have two compiler errors. And let's see what the problem is. Oh yes, uh, I forgot to change the name for the parameters we are passing. So let me just change this to underscore color. And let me do the same for the positions as well.
all right and uh, let's also go inside main app.cpp and i also forgot to change the position of camera uh, so right now both uh, uh, eye position and look at positions are uh, set to zero uh, i'm gonna move our uh, z to b4 uh, and let's move y on uh, four as to four as well and uh, let's see yeah i think that should be good enough and uh, let's compile and run great so we now can see our uh, word uh, origin axis and uh, let me also resize this window yeah and it seems everything is working great so that's all i have for this video and uh, this should conclude part five of this video series and hope to see you in the next video thanks